You are welcome to Believers Global TV. Beloved in Christ, I implore you not to miss this important message you are about to listen to. It is not by accident that you are here on this channel right now. I strongly believe that there is something God is about to do in your life through this teaching. And that is why I encourage you to listen to the end. Colossians chapter 3 verse 16 says, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. Today is a day of divine favor and testimony. Stay to the end. Don't go away. God bless you. Just two weeks ago, I, I deleted Twitter, deleted Instagram. I got tired. I said, who is this? Who are these people now sponsoring all kind of pornography on Twitter? Twitter is now like a site for pornography. They post something. You just want to supervise what is happening. And before you know, all kinds of things are popping up. I say, I'd rather not be on Twitter than to have my faith shipwrecked. I'd rather not be on Instagram than have my faith shipwrecked. And those of you who are there, <laughs> be wise to censor what you see and hear. It's an attack on your faith. Jesus was talking to Peter. Luke 22, 41. He says, Simon, Simon, Satan desires to have you, to sift you like wheat. But how did Satan do that? By attacking his faith. He said, I have prayed for you that your faith faileth not. If your faith fails, it's over. And I can tell you, there are many people who have not taken time to service their faith. That's why there's no restoration. Even when they are crying and commanding, there's no substance. Because faith is the substance. But unfortunately, they don't have it. They are shouting, there must be a change. There must be an intervention. But it's a faithless conversation. See, be careful to doctor your faith. When you doctor your faith, you doctor your outcome. Mindful what you watch. Mindful what you hear. Your restoration is tied to it. For some of us who are ministers of God, 247, a preacher is talking. There is no day of my life that I don't listen to an A-list preacher. If Derek Prince is not talking, Zach Punem is talking. If Zach Punem is not talking, Pastor Chris is talking. If Pastor Chris is not talking, Bishop Boedeko is talking. If Bishop Boedeko is not talking, Dr. Pastor Paul Nature is talking. Somebody must be talking. My spirit needs to be fed. And I'm watching some things. Miracles. Dimensions of power. I'm just watching. I'm just... Why, why do you think people watch pornography and they become aroused? Because impartations happen through sight. You don't know. Somebody is just watching something and he is having that same experience with the same intensity because you are being imparted as you are seeing. And then you tell people who don't have spiritual intelligence they say, and say, well, I just looked at it, so what? You are receiving impartation. I don't, I'm just, they, they load their phone with secular music, saying nonsense into their lives. And when you talk, they say, and so what? Why does somebody tell you, I love you and you are happy? Because wars have impact on your soul. Why does somebody look at you and say, I hate you and you are angry? Because those wars carry energy. They can impact you. Everything you see and everything you hear has an impact on your faith. Direct impact. And if you want your faith to produce results, better manage it well. Better doctor it. The Bible says, guard your heart with all diligence. Out of it, Proverbs 4.23, are the issues of life. So if you want restoration, make sure your faith is intact. Thank you for staying to the end of this message. But before you leave, I want to tell you a story. There was a father who has two sons. And so he sent two of his sons to the farm, like to go and harvest yam. So he called them both and sent them. The elderly one says he is going to go, that he is going to like go on the errands. But the younger one says he is not going to go. And so they left the presence of the man and behold, the one that says he will go to the farm does not actually went. But the one who says he was not going to go, at a point he thought within himself and said, my father has been very responsible for me 
so I will go. So he changed his mind and went. So I want to ask, among these two sons, who actually does the will of the father? It is the younger one. So as you have listened to this message, it's not about listening alone. If you listen, and probably you feel stirred up. But later on, the zeal, the passion that you had when you were listening to this message dies and you do not apply this message, it means the time that you dedicated listening to, them, to this message was a waste. So it is not about what you share alone. It's not about the messages that you listen to alone. It is more of what you take out of th those messages and then apply to your daily lives to make you um, better. So I do hope and I pray that this message will transform your life, will turn your life around.